slated for 6 o'clock. John Bader, Lauren Cook-West will have the call right here on the network with pregame beginning at 5.30. Some preseason football on tap tonight as Kansas City plays at Arizona and Cincinnati visits Washington. Major League Baseball, one afternoon game. Kansas City went into Wrigley to beat the Cubs 6-2. Game's just underway. The Braves in Baltimore to take on the Orioles. Minnesota in New York to take on the Yanks. It'll be the Tigers and Blue Jays getting together in Toronto tonight. Angels and Indians about to get started in Cleveland. The Rangers and Red Sox, same thing at Fenway in Boston. White Sox in Tampa to take on the Rays. It will also be the Marlins in Cincinnati to face off with the Reds. Later tonight, the Mariners and Astros get together at Minute Maid Park in Houston. The Nationals and Brewers will duel in Milwaukee. Pirates and Cardinals in St. Louis. Diamondbacks and Rockies out at Coors Field in Denver. Giants and Athletics later tonight. Mets at the Dodgers. Phillies and Padres also playing on the West Coast. Those are today's headlines. I'm Greg Sharp. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Steps up in the pocket, eludes a man to the 10, to the 5, to the 1, dives, he is in! Touchdown, Nebraska! What an individual effort by Adrian Martinez, scrambling through bodies, arms, diving for the end zone, and the Huskers now lead it 13-0. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, here we are. Jessica, it's the last weekend without college football until probably mid-January. Let's How about that? Go. How about that? I'm so excited. We are one week away. One week from tonight, we'll be in Champaign. Isn't that crazy? That, I mean, and it's kind of a cool deal that Nebraska is really going to be the first game of the year. All the rest eyes of the on the Huskers. No doubt. What an opportunity, too, if you go play well, to have people go, okay, better keep an eye on Nebraska this year. It's a great opportunity next week. I mean, a huge game out of the gate that people will be interested in because there's – implications as far as uh, conference title race and, and conference standings, but also just the storylines. People interested to see what Bielema is going to do up there at Illinois. And, you know, the Huskers needing a win out of the gate. There's so much buildup for both programs in addition to it being, you know, just a, a fun matchup for everybody to get to watch. Uh, well, nobody else really is, is playing. It'll be all eyes on this game. Yeah, it's and I think that's a great opportunity. I think it's a great selling point. I think it's obviously, you know, the coaches are going to be calling, reaching out to prospective student athletes and going, hey, tune in, yep. watch. I mean, your high school practice may be getting wrapped up that morning. Go home, watch the team, see where you might be able to fit into our offense or our defense or whatever. It's just a great opportunity to kind of have a bit of the national stage all to yourself. Well, and I think, too, because last year was so weird, really across college football. And while we had a college football season, it still didn't feel right. You know, there was a lot of weirdness into that season. But now it feels like we're going into a season where things are going to be more normal again. So there's a lot of amplified interest I think a lot of people excited to get it back to normalcy and so to kick it off with all eyes on the Huskers it's yeah a huge opportunity I'll bet the ratings are through the roof I think they will be it's big fox so Uh you've got that ability they're going to have a fairly lengthy pregame show before uh, we kick this off I know the team's excited I I know that they're tired of camp they're tired of seeing each other but the light's at the end of the tunnel now because it's into game week and, and all that's going to be happening. So can't wait for that to get going. And for all of us who love college football, you're going to have games to watch from every weekend now till we get into January in the middle of winter time. So that's kind of exciting to think about that. So exciting. Um, man, it's, it's it seems like it's kind of lasted a while, fall camp. I mean, it's gone, <laughs> no fa- gone by fast, but it's like it's it's been talking season for so long. And these guys have talked about, you know, the the improvements, the changes, that they're ready to win. And, you know, but you got to go prove it on the field. And I think they're so ready to get there, get out there on the field for the opportunity to do what they've been talking about. And it'll be fun. Monday's press conference day. We'll get into a routine of Monday press conferences. So looking forward to all that happening again tomorrow night. The red-white scrimmage for Husker Volleyball. We're going to hear from assistant coach Tyler Hildebrand coming up here in just a little bit. He's... He didn't get much rest. He came right back from Tokyo in the Olympics where he was overseeing the beach volleyball teams right into practice here. He's probably one tired guy. And has a newborn. 
Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's so, not sleeping either. Uh, it's been wild. I've seen him a few times and and just adjusting. You know, it's like the time change. Because remember, we were, we were talking all the time about how it was prime time there when it was 5 in the morning. So there's the time change and, and, you know, hitting the ground running with a really, I from what I can tell, a really intense preseason with this team. So, Got to uh, be. Yeah. It's a... Uh, but it'll be fun to talk to him just because he was such a huge part of the beach volleyball run to gold. You heard, um, you know, the A team giving him such a shout out for them being prepared for that gold medal match. So getting to talk to him about that and, and the, the Husker Olympians, you know, they're, some of them are going to be in town soon. So that will be fun as well. Um, but yeah, I just think overall there's a, a lot of excitement around this volleyball program. We're going to get to talk to him about all of that. That's coming up a little bit later on in the hour. Last night, we had Scott Frost in studio for an entire hour. We covered the whole gamut, really, of Husker football. I hope you had a chance to hear it. If you didn't, you can find video or audio of it available in a lot of different places. We're going to play back what I thought was kind of the meat, the first segment where we really hit on the running back position, the wide receiver position, the camp overall. We'll replay that for you at the top of hour number two, and then we'll react to what we heard from the coach last night. So if you missed it last night, you're going to get a kind of a mini version of it in hour number two. Looking forward to having that. Also in hour number two, Garrett Classy, assistant athletic director for Nebraska, who was a big driver behind that Garth Brooks concert from last weekend. Also really helped to get Nebraska set up for NIL, which now we're almost almost two months into NIL. Yeah. Crazy yeah. how quick that's gone. Yeah. We, when it started, we didn't know what – First of all, we didn't even know what was going to happen because it was so last minute on a lot of a lot of things with the NCAA and just across the country. But we had no idea what kind of char- uncharted territory we were about to dive into. And so, you know, just how it's kind of developed since then and, and talking to him about all of that. So that'll be interesting for sure. So we'll talk to him coming up in hour number two. We'll have our Friday five and our week winners and losers for the week as well. Want you to be a part of this, 402-413-2400. News earlier today, we've been we've, we've had some talks over the last couple of weeks about the Big Ten, the ACC, and the Pac-12 trying to kind of coalesce, maybe put together a bit of an alliance to try to hold off the SEC from grabbing a total power grab for college football. Well, multiple reports today are that they're fairly close to kind of forming an alliance and coming out with an announcement in the coming weeks. The alliance, I think, is going to deal with some scheduling in the non-conference Maybe some television inventory, although the Big Ten will probably be pretty protected because the Big Ten's television rights is a really big number. It's bigger than those other two conferences, so I don't know how much the Big Ten wants to share. But I think these three conferences know there are strength in numbers and that they can outvote and outweigh even an expanded SEC uh, so I think we're, we're going to have some news about this in the next week or two. I think even just putting it out there that, hey – We've been talking. We're in alignment. We are on the same page here. Is going to slow the roll of some of the other things that have been moving really quickly. That, okay, it's not just uh, we're going to overtake this thing. If you're the SEC thinking, okay, we're, we're going to take this thing over, knowing that these other three are kind of coming together, uh, you know, are, are all on the same page. And alignment, I think, is, is a huge statement. Whether, we, you know, what details are going to come from it and what we know for sure and how this will evolve. But even just coming out and saying, hey, we're in this together. We're going to be, you know, be on the same page in all of this, I think is a big statement to make right now in, the, in this day and age, in this time, when, you know, with the it's fear of the what's of the coming with the SEC. I'm sorry, I'm playing an echo to you there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you got the chat going over I there. I did, yeah. You liked uh, monitoring the chat last night. It was wild in there last night. It really was. <laughs> so we thought we'd have some fun tonight with this mm-hmm. alliance setup, um, talking about if we could pick – three schools to play a home and home football series Mm -hmm. in the Pac-12 and the ACC, who would we select for Nebraska to play? Which league, which, which which league do you want to start with first? You you make, you make the call. All right. I'm going to start ACC because I've not been to as many ACC schools Mm -hmm. for football as I have. So let me kind of just go through a little bit of the ACC. Nebraska's had some home and homes with some of these teams recently, Virginia Tech within the last 12 years, Pittsburgh, they played them. 2005 and 6-ish. Syracuse, you got to go back to the 80s, but they did have a home-and-home with the Orange. Wake Forest, they had that about 15 years ago. Uh, Miami, we just came out of a home-and-home with the U. Terrific games. Nebraska won a slugfest here and then lost an overtime down in in Miami. But And and, uh, I'm going to start with a couple of honorable mentions that didn't quite make my three, 
North Carolina is intriguing to me to play. Uh, Mac Brown's done a great job as going back to North Carolina for a second time. And another one that I didn't quite put in my top three, Jessica's Georgia Tech. Atlanta's a cool city. And also Nebraska's recruiting that area a lot. So mm-hmm. if you could go back and play close to home, I think that would really benefit you in recruiting. But they didn't make my top three. Here is my top three, and I'm going to start with my number three team in the ACC that I would like to set up a future home and home for the Huskers. My number three is Miami. Again, we just played them a few years ago, but the Huskers have so much. The, the stadium was, I don't know, that the stadium was kind of angry the night that Miami came here. Nebraska just has a lot of bad feelings about Miami losing the Tom Osborne two-point try game in 83 at the end of the 83 season, but then winning the title over Warren Sapp in the, in the Hurricanes at the end of the 94 season. I just think Nebraska could not get enough of play on Miami, so they make my list at number three. So I actually was had Georgia Tech on, as you my did. number three okay. uh, because you, you also need a team that you can beat every year. <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, yeah. if you're going to play in the Big Ten right. and have a tough schedule, and we're talking about maybe matching up with some tough teams in the, you know, Pac-12 and the ACC, but an easy city, city to get to, as you mentioned, recruiting hotbed. But yeah, let's get a let's get a guaranteed win on okay. the schedule. No, I like it. So <laughs> I had an honorable mention. You had him at number three. That that's yep. good. My number two, and a lot of people might put this at number one. I've got Clemson at two. I don't remember Nebraska ever playing a home and home with them they uh, they matched up with them in an orange bowl in the past and then they matched up with them in the gator bowl Dabo had just become the permanent head coach nebraska won that game over clemson that year that ended the 08 season for the big red but i i think it would be fun to go to death valley play and have them come to to memorial a lot of people might have clemson at one i've got them at two i've got florida state at two uh, just an awesome you know stadium it's just the history and tradition there um, you, know, you want to talk about a wild atmosphere with uh, Florida State fans and Nebraska fans meeting up. Um, you know, the history and tradition between both programs. I, I think it could be for an awesome matchup. Okay. My number one, I think we may flip here. I've got Florida State at one. Okay. Iconic programs, iconic head coaches in the past with Bowden for FSU, Osborne for Nebraska. Just have not bumped into them in years since we've matched up in several Orange Bowls back in the – late 70s 80s and 90s with them so they they just nudge a little bit ahead of clemson for me so i've got them one one for me is virginia tech oh you didn't go clemson no i i don't want clemson i don't want to see clemson but no i just i think um you know virginia tech the the again one of the coolest stadiums in the acc getting to see that and the Hokies and just all the tradition there as well so yeah i went with virginia tech all right huskers my honorable mention for Andrew, our producer, is Duke because he's a, a Duke guy. So. Well, that would go in your category of easy wins. Yes, so, easy wins. Yeah, okay. It kind of was uh, between, uh-huh. you know, uh, Duke and Georgia Tech. <laughs> so I went with Georgia Tech. So All right, let's switch to the Pac-12. Um, Huskers have had recent home and homes with Colorado. They have one scheduled with Colorado in the next couple of years. Recent home and home with Oregon. That was awesome. It was great. Great game here. That was the pickle juice game for Tommy Armstrong to stay alive and keep his legs working. And he led, led the Huskers to a win late there. Uh, UCLA, we've had a home and home recently with them. And a lot of people remember Arizona State had a home and home with them back in the 90s. Scott Frost was a quarterback for a game that a lot of Husker fans would like to forget. Uh, but my number three on my list, a little bit out there, but I've got Stanford here. One Love their campus. Love the style of play. I'm a big David Shaw fan. I like the way he runs his program. They're kind of a smash-mouth type program. I think that would be a really entertaining game with Nebraska and Stanford. So the Cardinal, my number three. So my number three is going to be UCLA. They play in the Rose Bowl. Quick story here. So, you know, coming from Oklahoma, Oklahoma and UCLA matched up, I think it was two years ago, uh, 2019 season. And UCLA fans did not show up. I mean, it was a home field advantage for Oklahoma. I think it'd be the same thing for Nebraska. So I think you play in that cool stadium uh, at the Rose Bowl, but the way that Nebraska fans would travel to that, I think it would have like a home field advantage because I think they would overtake the Rose Bowl. So I think that would be a, a great spot for uh, Nebraska to match up. Okay. My number two, Nebraska has had a history of playing these guys, but I love the stadium. I love the view. I love the city. That is the Washington Huskies. I knew it's you were going to Great go there. trip there. It's one of the most picturesque football stadiums in the country. 
And I would, and we've played the Huskies a lot, but I don't, I don't care. Let's put them on the schedule again. Let's go. Let's play the Huskies. That's a stadium that I would like to see uh, on my bucket list. But um, number two for me, USC in the Coliseum. Uh, just, I've never been there. Would love to see it. Love to take that in. Uh, USC, I think, could be a good matchup. Uh, who knows where that program's going? Uh, think that they could be trending upwards, but it could be a good matchup. Good. Uh, Resume builder as well, but and again, two programs with a lot of history and tradition. They sure do. Great tradition. They're not my, they're my number one. I just think you have two iconic brands playing out there like USC, Nebraska. Hard to beat that. They're my number one. My number one is Colorado. Yeah, there you go. You'll have a lot of backup on this. Yeah, I yeah. mean the the rivalry renewed there. Um, Ralphie, come on! I want to see Ralphie in in person. One of the best mascots in in college football. Uh, it's a beautiful stadium as well. So uh, I'd love to see see that matchup uh, renewed as well. Very good. I think a lot of people will be on your side. That Colorado would probably be their number one choice. John on our text line in Omaha says his three out of the two leagues would be Clemson, USC, and Oregon would be the three that he would have. That if you have some thoughts, love to hear those. Uh, either with a text or jump into the chat. Anybody in the chat room fired up on this? What? They said you're crazy for Clemson. <laughs> Putting Clemson on there? Yeah. It's because we do not, nobody wants to play Clemson. They're not going to be great forever, right? Come on. Yeah, and I mean, I've heard that stadium's pretty cool. I, and I didn't have them one. I had them two. Yeah. I had them two. I had Florida State. Uh, let me one. read through here. Um, we got had some Arizona States on there. Um, okay. Oregon it's kind of all over the place. So, um, Andy Harris said Oregon State, Colorado, and Arizona State, please. Um, <laughs> Arizona State, Tempe is a cool city. Yeah, it is. It is a and great it's place. It's a warm spot. Mm-hmm. It was on my honorable mention because I think it um, could be um, a fun place to go for fans as well and a, and a warm spot. So, you, you get the warmth there. Um, let's see here. Miami was, uh, Crypto King said Miami would be number one for him. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Florida State was was mentioned. So we Colorado a, for sure. We covered a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, we seems did. like a lot of them are on the same page as yeah, us. We did. Fun, fun to think about, and something I think may be happening. Obviously, there is already a scheduling alliance in men's and women's basketball right now between the Big Ten and the ACC with the Big Ten ACC Challenge. That's already kind of in place, but maybe you set up a second one with the Pac-12 in hoops, and I think you just try to get as many football schools to try to divvy up and play each other. And what a cool thing to have a Pac-12 play an ACC in a, in a football matchup. That would be great. Have USC play Clemson. And I, think, I think it'd be cool. I mean, you, you hit it on a good point, but just um, the recruiting aspect of it, um, you know, gives you an opportunity to, to, you know, get to some places and, and really kind of get your program in those, some of those cities where could be some recruiting hotbeds as well. All right. That'll be fun. If you have some thoughts throughout the show, you can fire those at us as well. When we come back, a chance to talk some Husker volleyball. Tyler Hillebrand, Husker assistant coach, will join us. We're one day ahead of the red-white scrimmage. That's coming up next. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up and back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Does it really matter where beef comes from? Meet the facts. Fact. High V Choice Reserve beef comes from the Midwest. So you get only the highest quality beef raised on family farms here in the heartland. Where do the other guys get their beef? We're not sure either. Get the facts at meetthefacts.hyvee.com. Experience the highest levels of luxury at Woodhouse Lincoln, the Metro's exclusive Lincoln dealer. 
Our dedicated sales team is ready to guide you to your perfect vehicle. With a lineup of unique crossovers and SUVs, Lincoln offers insightful technologies, connectivity, and interior amenities, while you experience the highest sales satisfaction among all luxury brands. Visit Woodhouse Lincoln at 144th and Giles Road or online at woodhouselincoln.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Still waiting for your stimulus check? Don't wait for the government. Get the SOS stimulus package right now. For a limited time, get $2,000 off a qualifying York system. York products are all proudly made in the USA. Call SOS, a trustworthy company since 1950. SOS is a family-owned third-generation company. Get you and the loved ones comfortable again with SOS. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Stadium seats may have been replaced with recliners. Tailgates outside the stadium may have been swapped for the ones in the backyard. And thousands of screaming fans have been replaced by one screaming baby. The only thing that hasn't changed is us watching the game together. It's game time, baby. Show off your Husker team spirit during your next virtual watch party. Visit cox.com slash Huskers to take a selfie with Herbie. And don't forget to share. Watch together, cheer together, take a selfie together, even if you're not actually together. Cox, bringing us closer. As the official bank of Husker Nation, FNBO invites you to take the game with you with the free Husker Visa debit card. Tied to your checking account, the Husker Visa debit card allows fans to show their Husker pride all year long. Get your free Husker Visa debit card today at any FNBO branch or visit fnbo.com slash Huskers. FNBO, the official bank of Husker Nation. Member FDIC. Business Technology 1, Network Downtime 0. Being a game-winning IT network takes hard work and an experienced technology coach. That's why our game plan includes Marco. Marco helps our entire business infrastructure perform better and score big day in and day out. With Marco's veteran experience guiding our team, every season is a winning season. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Friday night. The lights of the stadium are on because the band is going to put on a performance tonight, weather permitting. It's a little ominous outside right now, but uh, there's a couple thousand folks that have made their way inside the stadium and are lined up and watch the pride of all Nebraska, the Nebraska marching band. What a cool event to do. The campus is really filled up. This was a big move-in day, and the dorms classes begin on Monday. So uh, Lincoln has come alive again with the students. It's great. And the band has been practicing hard all week. So, <laughs> they have you know, good for them to get to get out in front of a little bit of a crowd and uh, practice a little bit on the field. And so, uh, yeah, a lot of excitement. I think uh, there are going to be some uh, special fans that are going to be able to attend football practice that went to the uh, Nebraska road race. So they're going to get a cool chance there. So tomorrow night's practice will be pretty cool. And then the volleyball scrimmage, red and white. So, yeah, it is uh, a lot of buzz on, on campus right now. Really cool deal to have that. So hopefully hopefully the weather holds off and they can get their performance in there tonight. They also had a lot of freshmen that were at the stadium a couple of hours ago to come out and take a – they do a big class. They invite all the freshmen to come to the stadium, stand on the end in the middle field, and they take a big wide lens. And that the class of, what would that be, class of 2025? Is that what the class would be? Oh if, they're, if, they're, if they're just getting to school this year. Yes. 
2025. Wow. How about that? Wow. Does that make you feel old? 2025, the class of 2025. Yeah, yeah. So do you just wear, everybody just wears a red shirt? Mm-hmm. Yep. They had, they all were wearing the mm-hmm. same shirt. There was a whole mess of them around the, wrapped around the building to get in. The, awesome. But they, they departed. I wish they would stay and watch the band. Some probably will, but a lot of them departed. We were talking about if you could schedule somebody for a home and home in this alliance that's being proposed with the ACC and the Pac-12 on our text line from an ACC, Miami, FSU, Clemson. So whoever that is, they're, they're not shying away from competition. Bring on the best. Just give us a couple of years, then we'll be ready for Clemson. <laughs> um, you know, and also you, we were talking during the break. I was asking you because, you know, someone had mentioned that Arizona and Phoenix has a big uh, Nebraska fan base, Does. alumni fan base down there as well. So uh, that would be big to, to get to Arizona for those Fans that live down there. Probably people would be a lot more willing to play Arizona State as compared to Arizona. Just the difference of Phoenix to Tucson. Yeah, and I mean, like I said, I think Tempe. Tempe's a fun city, so I would love going there as well. Uh, but you said Denver's a big fan base as well, so. Yeah, uh, when you, you most people would probably, Colorado would be really, really A lot high of people agreed list. with me on the chat about Colorado, yeah, so. they would. I just left them off because we are scheduled to play them here in about three years. Yeah. So we, we, we just came out of a home and home. We've got another one coming up. So I was kind of think of where it would be. That's in, just in, a stadium that I have not been to. So if we're talking like it's next gorgeous. year or two years, I'm, I'm all in for that. It's pretty with, you know, the, the flat irons of the Rockies. It's a pretty, pretty place to go. Their fans are a little obnoxious at times, <laughs> but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, and it's a great, it's such an easy trip for, for our folks in the Panhandle who live out in western Nebraska. It's really easy, much easier for them to get there than it really is to get to Lincoln for games. It's a shorter drive for them to get to Boulder than it is to come across the state and come into Lincoln. So uh, I'm not surprised by that at all. Well, tomorrow night we have the red-white scrimmage for Husker Volleyball as 6 o'clock this time tomorrow night. That will be underway as they're now right at the one-week mark of when that season will begin. We're delighted to have with us Husker assistant coach Tyler Hildebrand, I think fresh off practice. Hey, coach, are you just getting wrapped up over there today? Yeah, we just wrapped up practice, and uh, it, was a, it was a good one. It was a light one to to save on jumps for tomorrow's scrimmage. How how have the last 10 days been for that team? Well, it's been exciting. I mean, we've added six new players to our roster, and that's uh, over a third of our team. So it's been really exciting to, you know, get some new girls in the gym. And, uh, you know, they've done a nice job. And, um, you know, they're not really acting like freshmen. They're playing, they're playing at a high level. So it's been exciting. How about the freshmen? How have they settled in? The number one recruiting class, they've been highly touted. Had A, a lot of them had a big summer playing for Team USA at the World Cup. Uh, how have they settled into this college volleyball, college volleyball thing? Yeah, you know, like I said, it's just kind of been exciting. You know, they bring in new energy. Anytime you have a, a group that size um, that's coming in, playing at a good level, it's, it's, it's brought an excitement to the gym. And I think the older girls have embraced that. And I think uh, it's made our gym a lot better. And uh, the, the practices have been, you know, not just really high level, but really high energy. And there's a, there's a, there's a fun newness to it. And uh, it's been exciting. What about not having, um, you know, playing in the spring, having a little bit of a different year last year and having to have a quick turnaround and, and get right back into preseason? Did that affect anything at all, how you guys approached it? Or did, you know, the players come back healthy, ready to go and in and, and, and great shape and whatnot? Yeah, I think in our sport, you know, obviously uh, that was a concern with football, I think. You know, it's such a physical, demanding sport. You know, I think I – think Coach Cook and, and Jolene and Brian do a great job of managing kind of a jump load and swing load. So from a, from kind of a quick turnaround standpoint, um, I, I think we feel fairly normal. I don't think it's affected us much. Um, it, it is really nice to have things a little bit more normal. Obviously, last year was just a different year. You know, it was, it was, there were so many protocols and things to keep everybody safe, which – is what we had to do, um, and it, it, it's nice to be really excited about uh, a full arena tomorrow, tomorrow night in Devaney, and so um, that's that's kind of the main difference, I think. But other than that, it, it felt like a normal summer. Um, the girls did their, you know, voluntary workouts and their individual stuff, and 
Uh, they came in ready to go, and we've been hitting the ball rolling. Again, yeah, visiting with Tyler Hildebrand, associate head coach for Husker Volleyball here on Sports Nightly. One thing that was different is the shortness of the gap, and you guys were talking about that. So the Texas loss is still pretty fresh in a lot of people's mind, Coach. How much of a motivator has that been? I mean, you never like to lose to Texas. There's been such a great rivalry between the two at this sport. Has that has that motivated this group here in the last several months? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think we're concentrating on getting better every day. Like I said, we you know we have we have six new girls, so um, our, our focus is on our side and, and our team and and finding out um, you know who's going to play for us, what impact players we're going to have, and how we're going to play a good brand of volleyball. But anytime you end a season with a loss, cer- certainly Texas is a rival. We have a lot of respect for that program, and they're, they're a great team. Um, and so it, it stings a little bit, and you kind of have that in the back of your mind. Um, and and even, even the previous year, you know, losing to Wisconsin all three times, it, it stings when – Things when you know that uh, you lost to a team that either you wanted to beat or thought you could have beat, and uh, that that just kind of that you know that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And, and, but we, you know, it, it's a good motivator. It's a good motivator for summer workouts. It's a good motivator to to get ready, you know, for this year and uh, try to not let it happen again. So a lot of excitement for this red and white scrimmage tomorrow. I know fans are excited to get back into Devaney. How are you guys approaching it? How are you splitting up the teams? And, and what will you be looking for in, in this matchup in front of fans? Yeah, good question, uh, good question Jessica. We, uh, Coach has, you know, we, we have a pretty good plan for how we're going to, you know, set the lineups up. But, but the reality is we got, you know, p- part of Laura and Lexi coming back and having a little bigger roster than we normally do, like a lot of other teams will. Um, is we got a lot of depth this year. So, it, it, you know, maybe a typical year you find, hey, this is obviously our starters and this is obviously the, you know, so, so-called so B-side. But, you know, we just have a lot of competition in the gym. A lot of girls are competing for spots. And uh, ultimately we think that's a good thing. We think that's raised the level of the gym, that everyone's competing. So as far as lineups go, we're going to, Coach Cook has a plan for that, and I think everyone will see it tomorrow night. you got to be running on fumes, Coach. <laughs> I mean, you had the Olympic experience and the, the time difference and flying back, and Coach probably didn't give you even a day off. You probably had to jump right back in and get this thing cranked up. Uh, you got to be tired, one. But talk talk a little bit about your Olympic experience. What was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, any anytime you, anytime you go to the Olympics um, – you have kind of a a balancing of enjoying the experience because it's obviously something very special that very few people get to do. And then the flip side is you're trying to win the pinnacle of your sport. Um, so you can't be, <laughs> you know, you got to be focused uh, on that. And so that's the typical Olympic experience. Uh, this one was very atypical. It was, um, the COVID regulations were very strict, uh, which I think was a good idea, which was smart by the Tokyo government because in a village, COVID could have spread, you know, pretty quickly. But it's still, it was just a different feel. It wasn't the normal Olympics. Uh, I've been to a couple and it, it was different. But at the end of the day, you, you got to keep your mind on your teams and keep your mind on yourself that it is still the Olympics, even though it feels quite a bit different. And, you know, we actually, in, with our four teams on the beach, you know, we had some, we had Taylor Crab test positive, so we had to make an alternate switch there. And we had a couple other, what's called close contact, which they had to be kind of removed from their team, put in a hotel, they couldn't get treatment. There was all these very strict um, rules placed on them. And so there was a lot of chaos. But uh, at the end of the day, everybody's putting – everything into this, sacrificing, um, you know, time away from family, et cetera, et cetera, to, to, to try to pursue the dream of winning Olympic gold. And so it was an interesting balancing act, but I thought that we did a pretty good job. And obviously we came away with a gold with April and Alex, so that was pretty fulfilling. 
Yeah, that was awesome. And, and both April and Alex gave you a ton of props. And even when the Husker Volleyball Twitter account, you know, I know you're not on Twitter, by the way, but they, uh, so Husker Volleyball tweeted out a picture with you and, and the gold medalist and April Ross quote tweeted it and said, couldn't have done it without him. So how special was it for you to get to be a part of that and, and help that duo win a gold medal? You know, the story lines are unbelievable for both of them, but to help them win gold and finish on top of the podium. Yeah, April and Alex and I had been friends for a long time before I took that job. And um, April and I went to college together and were friends back then. I think we really respected each other as players, et cetera. So we've had pretty long relationships with those girls. And kind of from day one, they were our number one team. And so in my role, although I was working and managing and overseeing and coaching all the teams, I, I put a lot of time and investment into them, um, was directly coaching them a majority of their, you know, quad. And so it, it was it was it was really cool to for them to end with a gold. And you know, April now she has the whole set. She's got a gold, a silver and a bronze. So that's a great storyline. And then Alex, you know, in her first Olympics, you know, my wife and her played on the national team together, uh, indoor. And um, I was part of the process of bringing her out to the beach prior to taking that job, just as a friend. And for her to kind of go and perform the way she did in her first Olympics and for them to win gold, and, you know, what was really kind of interesting is they did it in such a decisive, or decisive fashion. I mean, the, the, the semis and the finals really weren't super close matches. They, they really kind of proved that they were the best team in the world. And, um, so it's a great it was a great accomplishment for the for the team, great accomplishment for all of us. But really, um, for those girls to do that under those circumstances was pretty special. Well, Coach, we appreciate the time. I, you just got to be exhausted with all. And I guess you even have a new addition to the family, right, as well? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot worse problems to have than a little <laughs> jet lag from winning the gold trying to win a national championship in this program and having a healthy baby girl. But, uh, yeah, sleep is, uh, sleep is on the back burner right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I did want to ask one other, other thing because we're hearing that, you know, some of these Olympians that help win the indoor uh, gold medal for the volleyball team, that Justine and Jordan might be coming to town soon. And, of course, they mean so much to the program and Coach Cook, but – um, how big has that been, and how big does does that continue to be for recruiting? I know this team is kind of embracing the roots part of it and, and all of that. So uh, how big is that for this program, for, for them to have done what they did this year at the Olympics as well? Yeah, what, I mean, just what a great compliment to the, to the program, to Coach Cook, to the girls that have played here before them. You know, legacy is a big thing that, you know, we're, we're in camp right now, so we're – we're spending a lot of time in meetings and the girls are reaching out to ex Huskers and, and there's just such a great legacy in this program. And uh, the last two Olympics are a great example of that legacy on display. And um, I just think it's a, it's a compliment to the support of the state, to the, to the validity and passion and excitement that the state brings to our program that, People want to come here. People want to get chase their dreams like Jordan, Justine, and Kelsey in this sense, and Kayla in the last Olympics. And um, it's just kind of fitting to me that uh, there's all that success, and it's, it's not by accident. Uh, Coach has done an unbelievable job creating a program that produces those types of athletes, those types of people, and this state has done an unbelievable job supporting that. And the University of Nebraska – uh, supporting it the way they do. There's, there's not another volleyball program in the country that gets the administrative or state support that, that we do. So we're, we're grateful for it. And um, it's not a surprise that, you know, people get to go on and do great things. It's awesome. Todd, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Get some rest and uh, have fun tomorrow night. We're looking forward to seeing this team out there tomorrow. Hey, thank you guys for having me on. Thanks for what you guys do. And I uh, appreciate it. There Thanks, Tyler. See you tomorrow. Okay, see ya.
There's Tyler Hildebrand, associate head coach for the Cornhuskers, joining us here again the red-white scrimmage, 6 o'clock tomorrow night at the Devaney Center. Tyler joined us on our Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family, bringing you more choices in brands, locations, and service. Experience the difference. Purchase with confidence. This is Woodhouse. Phone lines are open for you, 402-413-2400. Call or text. Back with more of the show coming up. When you're ready to pursue a career-building college degree, go with the school you know and trust, the University of Nebraska. And if you need the flexibility, convenience, and affordability of an online degree program, you can go online with the University of Nebraska. With courses developed specifically for the online learner by our four regionally accredited NU campuses, it's a valuable online education for your very real-world future. Go to online.nebraska.edu to learn more. So, when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. When it comes to tailgating, it's all about gathering with friends, cheering on the Huskers, and of course, enjoying the great taste of real beef. This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council, reminding you that there is no substitute for the smoky aroma and mouthwatering flavors of real beef on the grill. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for helpful grilling tips and delicious beef recipes that are sure to make your next tailgate party a success. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Brought to you by Nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff. Husker fans, stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Big Red on Facebook and Twitter. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding NU athletics, including game results, ticket promotions, and Husker prizes. Log on to also follow several sports-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Become a fan today at Facebook.com slash Huskers and Twitter.com slash Huskers to join and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Does it really matter where beef comes from? Meet the facts. Fact. High V Choice Reserve beef comes from the Midwest. So you get only the highest quality beef raised on family farms here in the heartland. Where do the other guys get their beef? We're not sure either. Get the facts at meetthefacts.hyvee.com. As the official bank of Husker Nation, FNBO invites you to take the game with you with the free Husker Visa debit card. Tied to your checking account, the Husker Visa debit card allows fans to show their Husker pride all year long. Get your free Husker Visa debit card today at any FNBO branch or visit fnbo.com slash Huskers. FNBO, the official bank of Husker Nation. 
Member FDIC. Stadium seats may have been replaced with recliners. Tailgates outside the stadium may have been swapped for the ones in the backyard. And thousands of screaming fans have been replaced by one screaming baby. The only thing that hasn't changed is us watching the game together. It's game time, baby. Show off your Husker team spirit during your next virtual watch party. Visit Cox.com slash Huskers to take a selfie with Herbie. And don't forget to share. Watch together, cheer together, take a selfie together, even if you're not actually together. Cox, bringing us closer. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Friday night. Unfortunately, the band concert has been canceled it's uh there's a thunderstorm kind of on the doorstep of lincoln and we had a little video of the band they were out on the field kind of getting ready to go so we'll start at seven o'clock and now they have exited the premises that's too bad yeah we had the on the youtube stream had the camera out there and they got all the way out there there were some fans out there and then they had to come back so i don't know what the storm looks like but it does look a little little green outside but (laughs) it does look kind of (laughs) like something might be uh Coming in, so good safety first, obviously. I was but. a little concerned last night that they were going to have trouble with the soccer match because we had a little kind of squall line go through here, but they they were able to play, and they got a win last night. Big win, yeah. yeah. Big start. Again, it's so important to get off to a good start, and, you know, 1-0 does a, goes a long ways. Sure does. They're now on a three-game road trip. They go to Missouri, Baylor, and Oklahoma, so they'll be they'll be gone for a while. We wish them luck. The Missouri game's on national television. Do you be able to watch them on TV? ESPN Plus, I think, has got the, the TV part of that. So think, yeah. If, you, if you're a subscriber of ESPN Plus, and that's Sunday down in Columbia. Tim on our text line, his three ACC matchups, Georgia Tech, Florida State, Clemson. Honorable mention for him would be Boston College. I don't know if we've had that one mentioned. That would be kind of cool. Boston's a great city. Yeah, I, I like Boston. I don't know that the, that name does a lot for me. In the Pac-12, his three, Utah, that's pretty cool. Oregon and USC, this, he likes the tradition of USC, and that's kind of why I had them at number one as well. Yeah, we had uh, kind of got them all covered there. But the thing is, there would be some cool matchups for sure, and awesome to see some new places, some new – stadiums that maybe some people haven't been able to check out but a lot of these places too now some of them are not but a lot of them would be easy access for fans too and then some places with some fan bases may be able to to check out nebraska that wouldn't be able to otherwise yeah all right 402-413-2400 need to work a break in we're back to wrap up hour one next seasons change but your land stays the same You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. From sprains and stitches, to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Huskers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding Nebraska athletics, including game times, results, ticket promotions, prize giveaways, and more. Log on to also follow several sport-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Join today and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Visit huskers.com slash social media to see all of our accounts. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. With a combination of strong academics and affordability, UNL offers an excellent educational value. This year, the university was named one of the Princeton Review's Best Value Colleges. And the new Nebraska Promise and Career Scholarship programs are connecting more hardworking Huskers with financial help so they can pursue their dreams. Hit us up on the text line, text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
When you're ready to pursue a career-building college degree, go with the school you know and trust, the University of Nebraska. And if you need the flexibility, convenience, and affordability of an online degree program, you can go online with the University of Nebraska. With courses developed specifically for the online learner by our four regionally accredited NU campuses, it's a valuable online education for your very real-world future. Go to online.nebraska.edu to learn more. Shop Woodhouse Ford first. With three convenient locations, we offer a wide selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Our no-pressure sales team is eager to help you find the perfect vehicle. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in person or online at woodhouseford.com. Choose your experience and start your car buying journey today at Woodhouse Ford in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmouth. Still a couple of minutes left of our one of sports highly here on a Friday. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. 402-413-2400. The number to dot us up with a comment or question. A couple of NFL preseason games tonight. There was one last night. It was a terrible game. The Patriots just absolutely drilled the Eagles. And a guy that you know a little bit, Jalen Hurts, was a scratch from that game with a stomach infection. That seems a little odd. I guess he had some stomach pains. They took him to the hospital. He's fine. Tested negative for COVID, so that wasn't it. But that's you don't hear stomach infection very yeah, often, do you? Stomach aches, weird. but infections a little. The different. whole thing that was going on with the Eagles is uh, kind of been a little dramatic this uh, preseason, and uh, not naming the quarterback and people calling for them to name it. And then I saw Baker Mayfield was uh, saying that it's clickbait because they were saying something about uh, you know the the battle there. So I just ready. For Again, ready for it to get kicked off because some of these storylines, I'm just like, okay, this is enough, a lot, too much. There's people already saying the Eagles will have the number one pick. They're like, they've written them off that they're going to be terrible. I'm like, well, how do you know? How do you know in preseason that somebody's going to be lousy? I don't know. You play fantasy football? I do. Yeah. I've not not taken part in a draft yet. Sometimes I'll just do an online league and dial that up. I I like to play too. It keeps me kind of uh, locked in because I do not have an NFL team. So if I'm playing with if I have players and I'm following along it helps me stay locked in in the NFL because I mean I, I'm kind of all in on college football I kind of haven't been a huge NFL fan but well the, there's games on tonight the Chiefs and the Cardinals are about right there's another person you know Kyler Murray warming up on the field for them and you know I'm, I'm, I'm a Chiefs guy so Patrick Mahomes is my my guy but uh, yeah, two games tonight, but yeah, the stomach infection. I saw that story alert today. I'm like, that's that seems odd. I had not really heard much of that. All right, uh, one hour in the books. Great to hear from Coach Hildebrand, uh, fresh off the practice. In fact, he we he had to we had to stall a couple minutes because he was not quite done wrapping up a team meeting. So he came kind of directly from that to, to talk to us. Next hour, we're gonna replay a snippet of of Coach Frost's hour from last night if you missed that i think we kind of picked some of the best moments of where he really broke down some of the key parts of his football team so we'll have that here at classy will join us as well in our number two he was a big driver making putting together the garth brooks concert that so many people enjoyed last saturday at the stadium also a big part of getting nebraska ready for nil which launched back on july the first looking forward to hearing from garrett we'll have our friday five and our winners and losers for the week as well all right time to tell you now to buckle up put that phone down it's a reminder from the ndot highway safety office one done one to go friday night here on it's a game week huskers radio network up on the text line text 402-413-2400 with your husker thoughts hey husker fans this is Marie from the nebraska beef council just like the big red wins on the court you can win at the dinner table with great tasting beef from steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs there are countless ways to create a meal that will have your family cheering for more visit beef it's what's for dinner.com for easy beef recipes cooking tips and meal inspirations beef it's what's for dinner in nebraska brought to you by nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. On May 7th and 8th, 
Nebraska celebrated its largest May graduating class in university history. 3,594 degrees were awarded to Nebraska graduates in ceremonies at Pinnacle Bank Arena and Memorial Stadium. Along with receiving their diplomas, graduates also heard inspiring speeches from notable Nebraskans, including legendary coach Tom Osborne. So when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, the what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers.
Good evening, I'm Greg Sharp. Here's tonight's sports ticker. A week from tomorrow, the season begins for the Big Red. Nebraska will travel to Illinois to take on the Fighting Illini at noon. The Oscars did have a practice session today. They'll have another one tomorrow before taking Sunday off. First game week press conference slated for Monday. Oscar volleyball all set for the red-white scrimmage tomorrow night at the Devaney Center. First serve slated for six. John Bader, Lauren Cook-West will have the call right here on the network with pregame beginning at 5.30. It's preseason football tonight about to get underway out in Phoenix as the Arizona Cardinals hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. Also about ready to get underway Cincinnati and Washington. Major League Baseball one final in the books. The Royals win at Wrigley this afternoon 6-2. Games in progress. It's Atlanta 3, Baltimore nothing in the fourth inning. Yankees 6, Twins nothing. They're in the bottom of the third. No score Tigers and Blue Jays in the fourth. Top of the third, it's the Indians 5, the Angels 1. Top of the third, Boston 2, Texas nothing. Middle of the third, White Sox and Rays nodded at one. It's Cincinnati two. The Marlins nothing in the top of the fourth. Mariners and Astros about ready to get underway. Same thing in Milwaukee for the Brewers and the Nationals. Pirates and Cardinals getting together in St. Louis tonight. Later, it's the Diamondbacks in Colorado to take on the Rockies, the Giants, and A's in the Bay Series playing in Oakland. The Mets and Dodgers in L.A. and the Phillies out in San Diego to take on the Padres. Those are today's headlines. I'm Greg Sharp. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Zone read, back to throw, being rushed, gets hit, fumbles a football. Pick it up. Picked up yes. Nebraska, racing toward the goal line, and scoring is Deontay Williams. Deontay Williams knocked the ball free, scoop and score. It's all Nebraska right now in Lincoln. 23-3, big red. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are, final hour of the night, final hour of the week. Been a fun week, really. Final hour before we get a game week. How about that? Isn't that so fun? Oh, Let's man. Go. You know, summers can really drag on. And I, I like this week zero thing. It gets football here one week sooner than normal. A lot of times you do have the volleyball that starts next week, but football would be a week later, and that's what most of the country will be doing. But this will be this is pretty cool. We have a game week coming up. I mean, up. it has been a crazy summer, but still it's, um, you know, just once we started talking about fall camp, it's gone fast, but then it's also like gets to the point where it's like, okay, let's just kick this thing off. Right. So, um, it gets to the point where, okay, because next week, next week we'll start talking about Illinois and the matchup, and we'll probably ha- maybe have a depth chart and start knowing how that thing's going to uh, shake out. So um, it's going to be exciting. going to be fun. We had the coach on for an hour last night, our first football show of the fall, had the head coach with us, and we covered a lot of topics. So we thought tonight we would play back a snippet of it. So for those of you that missed it, if you heard it maybe you're going to hear it again and pick something up kind of like watching a movie for the second time you might pick up another nugget here or there we'll do that here in just a moment also we're going to hear from garrett classy oscar associate athletic director who was a big force behind getting that garth brooks concert to lincoln last week that so many people had a great time with we're going to hear from garrett we'll have our friday five our five biggest stories of the week and then we'll have our winners and losers so a full hour coming up here on sports highly tonight We begin with the head coach who was here last night. We talked about a lot of things. We started by what kind of camp was it in his eyes for this team? Fun to watch. It's been fun to watch a lot of guys uh, compete and get better. Um, I've really been impressed with Marquis Stepp. He's getting healthier and healthier and um, had a good practice today. Uh, Gabe has done a good job coming in and, and acting like an adult, not like an 18-year-old, and, and done some really good things. Savion Morrison um, has really competed for it. Uh, he's he's a pretty special talent. Um, and then, you know, other guys have done well, too. I'd probably comment on Ramir Johnson has, has had a really good camp and, and taken a big step forward. So I'm um, not sure there's a clear-cut guy yet, but I uh, feel good about the guys we do have. Do you feel better about that spot now than before camp began? I would say absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, the, the one thing is we don't have guys that are experienced, definitely not experienced playing here. Um, so our, you know, the guys are going to have to go and do it for the first time. But, uh, man, they've gotten a lot of reps in fall camp, and, and we'll get them ready. The other spot was the wide receiver room. And to me, that looks like that has dr- changed drastically for the better from a year or two years ago. 
No doubt about it. Um, you know, that's kind of been a thorn on our side a little bit, is having guys that can win and do the job outside. Uh, I think we got a lot of them now. And um, I think we got six, seven, eight guys that, that I feel comfortable putting on the field and, and that are going to get the job done and, and make a play. So um, Coach Lubick's done a great job with that group, and uh, we've taken huge strides there. Are you close in both of those positions to kind of having the depth chart, or have you shared that with the players yet? Can they sense that the way practices have been the last several days or not? Yeah, I don't think there's any secrets with the team. Um, when you get as many reps as we do, it's pretty clear to everybody when somebody's on top. That position's a little unique because you're going to have to play a lot of guys as much as we ask those guys to run. Uh, we're going to have to have a rotation, but um, the guys that are at the top of that are getting plenty of reps, know they're at the top of that, and, and, and going to have their mindset uh, on a week from Saturday. Because you had said the, the press conference you had right before camp began that you kind of wanted to settle into a depth chart maybe quicker than you have in the past. Has it played out that way? Definitely. Um, you know, I think that the O line we have playing right now has gotten a lot of reps together. The secondary has gotten a lot of reps together. Uh, inside linebackers, re really the whole group. And, and you're starting to see a lot more cohesiveness on units, um, which we've had in the past, but not to the degree we have right now. On our text line, two comments. One, the guy said his favorite Gar song was the dance. And then the second was he's curious about how the backup quarterback battle is gone. Backup quarterback's been exciting to watch. Uh, Adrian's playing at a really high level right now, has consistently through camp. So I'm excited for him. Um, I think Logan Smothers has had a really good camp, too. Um, he, his mind works really fast. He, get, he gets the ball out on time to the right people. He's running our run game really well, uh, making good throws. Um, Harburg is really talented. Um, you know, he's still 18 and, and a true freshman. Uh, so he's kind of catching up right now a little bit. When he looks good, he looks great. Um, and then Matt Masker's here, too, doing some good things. So it, it's been fun to watch that group. but. Uh, seen improvement from all of them. Offensive line, um, where where has that group been? Coach Austin talks so much about he loves the depth and the, the ability to maybe get some different guys in the game at certain times. Where do you feel about? How do you feel about that group right now? We're young on that group, but we're young and more experienced than we've been. You know, at, we finished that last game with a freshman left tackle and a registered freshman left guard and a sophomore center that we moved from tight end and a uh, senior guard and a redshirt freshman tackle um, so those guys got a lot of playing time young I'm excited about that group because they're going to get a, a chance to grow together and be together and uh, the depth is a lot better too um, and a lot of those guys have gotten reps we've got a couple guys nicked up missed a little bit of time and, and that's allowed us to get some other guys some reps uh, with the first unit and I think that's going to pay dividends down the road I think a lot of people are, have pretty high expectations for your defense that's kind of where you're veteran guys came back the six year the super seniors the six guys came back have they lived up to that billing in your eyes and camp to this point yeah um you can just tell it, it calling offensive plays and what, spending more time on the offense it, it's hard to find holes in what they're doing right now and um you know we don't scheme for our defense but we run our stuff and um man it, it's it's tough sledding against those guys right now so i, I think we're a lot Stouter up front than we've been. We're getting really good play at linebacker. Uh, Mike Dawson's done an unbelievable job with our outside backers and getting them to improve. Uh, and the secondary is the most veteran group we have on the team. So um, I'm excited to, to let those guys go out and actually play a game. You mentioned earlier about the shape that Adrian's in. People have kind of raved about on the defensive side. Jordan Riley has gotten himself in pretty good shape. Have you noticed him making some plays? Yeah, Jordan's changed his body. Um, you know, year one, we were expecting big things out of him. And, and sometimes it just takes guys a little bit. And yeah, he did unbelievable work with Zach Devon and Andrew Strop in the weight room and um, expecting really good things from him. I, th was it, I think it was Chin said this maybe earlier in the week that he kind of feels like he, he almost maybe three deep on your defensive line. Maybe almost to nine guys that he feels comfortable throwing out there. That's pretty impressive. Bunch of guys playing well. That's been a competitive spot, too. And I'm sure we'll, we'll rotate those guys and get a lot of guys snaps. Yeah, and with the noon starts, first two weeks, you may it could be warm. You may need to be able to rotate guys through there and keep them fresh. Yep, it was hot out there on the turf today, so yeah. we're trying to get the guys ready. It was. There wasn't much breeze out there today. How about opening this thing with a conference game? When we see it across the league, there's a lot of conference openers. This seems to be a trend. 
You good with that? And you're going to do it again next year over in Ireland. I have to be good with that. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. You know, going on the road in a conference game, it makes this game, first game really important. And uh, the team's done a good job focusing on this game, not looking at anything else, not getting distracted. Uh, we spent uh, quite a bit of time on this opponent already. So, um, you know, a little tough with the new staff trying to decipher what we think they're going to do. And I'm sure there's going to have to be some adjustments made during the game. Uh, but the guys are locked in right now. Art in Los Angeles, and this has been a hot button issue for him. He wants to know, how do you decide when the coin toss happens, whether to take the ball or go on defense? Do you have a philosophy about whether to defer or take the football? Yeah, if, if we think we're going to go score, we take the ball. Uh, but we'll say, uh, and you talk about improvements we've made, our, our kickoff unit right now uh, looks a lot better. And the biggest part of that is we have some guys that can really hit it. Um, we haven't in the past. And uh, if I feel like we can kick a ball through the end zone and get a touchback and have the other team start on the 25 and put the black shirts out there, uh, that's going to make me more likely to do that. You and turned a couple of stones trying to find a guy that can get that ball to the end zone, didn't you, during the offseason? We did. Um, really excited about three new additions at kicker. Obviously, Connor's coming back and is going to handle duties for us on PATs and field goals. Uh, but All conference. Um, yeah. Um, we're excited about him. Uh, but, you know, Frankie and Jacek and uh, Kellen are all doing a really good job. Those guys have some real talent. And... Uh, a lot of natural ability just to pound the football. So uh, kicking it kicking it into and through the end zone is, is going to change our special teams. Big difference when that happens. Are you close to identifying your punter? Yeah, that's been a battle. Uh, both guys are doing really well. So I'm going to kind of leave that up to the, the special teams coaches and, and let them help decide, but uh, feel good about both guys. Depth chart, close, maybe? Yeah, I, you know, I'm not in a big hurry to release it. <laughs> I tried. I tried to see if you'd give me the depth chart. Not real anxious to release it. You didn't uh, get one that you could start finishing out your charts? No. <laughs> Wait like everybody else. Uh, no, I thought, I thought there was a lot of information in that last night. We covered a lot of different things. Um, I think you could tell he was pretty. There wasn't a lot. I mean, he didn't get real jovial. He was, he's locked in. I think he's ready to roll. There were some comments on, on the chat about him being serious, and, and I, I do. I think it's, it's that time of the year that and you're ready to get things kicked off and feeling really good about this team. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's definitely seems to be the best team that they have had since he's been here. So, um, you know, it's just about putting it together on the, on the field and – you know, making everything that you're saying kind of come to fruition, but also figuring out how to flip that switch. Did I say that right? Because the other day I said it wrong. You had a flip the switch there you go. of winning football games. You know, it. You know, once you kind of get that confidence and that belief, a, a lot of things change. And hey, big game. Yeah. And this is not. You're not playing Fordham first. You're playing Illinois. You got a conference, a division game, which is doubly important because division games they just have a little bit more importance to them than the games against somebody from the East in the league. So it, they know it. They all know it. The coaches know it. The players know it. And you will see, I think, a laser focus all next week. And not surprised at all that, you know, the the depth chart, I don't know when it will be released, but not surprised that it's or not if. out. Yeah. They may because, not put it out. you know, when you're playing Illinois, it's like you've said that when you start preparing for, for Big Ten games, it gets a little easier because you know what it looks like. But Nebraska doesn't know what, what Illinois is about to throw at them. Correct. And Illinois is going to be able to prepare for Nebraska a little bit, a little bit better because there will be film on what Nebraska will do. So I totally get not putting it out there, you know. AR uh, Sports Highly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family, bringing you more choices in brands, locations, and service. Experience the difference. Purchase with confidence. This is Woodhouse. All right, we're going to step aside. When we come back, chance to chat with Garrett Classy, Associate Athletic Director for the Cornhuskers. He is next. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. 
So, when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Husker fans, the 2021 athletic season marks the beginning of mobile tickets for Husker sporting events. Tickets and parking passes for all sports will be available for download in your ticket account on the official Huskers app. It's a safe and easy way to guarantee your entry into some of the most exciting sporting events around. Simply download your ticket from your ticket account or the Huskers app and save to your mobile phone wallet before you leave home. Scan at the gate and enjoy the game. Go Big Red! Shop with confidence at Woodhouse Ford. Take advantage of our current offers and vast inventory selection with features you want at a smart price. Schedule a test drive today or shop online with our streamlined sales process. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in person or online at woodhouseford.com. Choose your experience and find your next vehicle at Woodhouse Ford in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmouth. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Still waiting for your stimulus check? Don't wait for the government. Get the SOS stimulus package right now. For a limited time, get $2,000 off a qualifying York system. York products are all proudly made in the USA. Call SOS, a trustworthy company since 1950. SOS is a family-owned third-generation company. Get you and the loved ones comfortable again with SOS. SOS to the rescue. When you're ready to pursue a career-building college degree, go with the school you know and trust, the University of Nebraska. And if you need the flexibility, convenience, and affordability of an online degree program, you can go online with the University of Nebraska. With courses developed specifically for the online learner by our four regionally accredited NU campuses, it's a valuable online education for your very real-world future. Go to online.nebraska.edu to learn more. So, when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today, we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. There is no better way to support your Huskers than becoming a season ticket holder. And a limited number of Nebraska football season tickets are on sale now. Secure your seat in Memorial Stadium for head coach Scott Frost's fourth season at the helm as the Huskers play host to Buffalo, Michigan, Ohio State, Iowa, and more. Now is your chance to become part of the storied tradition that is Husker football. To purchase season tickets, call 1-800-8-BIG-RED. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up in back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. Thanks for spending your Friday evening with us. I'm Jessica Cootie, joined now by Senior Deputy Athletics Director Garrett Classy. And it was one week ago tonight. We were sitting in the studio doing the show, and Garth Brooks was doing his sound check before what would be the largest 
what the largest crowd that he's played in front of and you had a big part in that but just overall the weekend getting it done and you put a, t a tweet out about it how special was how it all came together last weekend i mean when you walked out there and saw the garth brooks stage in <laughs> memorial stadium first time i had a show in there since what 1987 mm -hmm. chills i mean it, it was really surreal you know knowing how many classic football games have been there but you're having a major concert in lincoln nebraska and the fans were incredible i mean I, this this year will be only my third football season. Obviously, last year we didn't have any fans, but that's as loud as I've ever heard Memorial Stadium. He said that that's the loudest he's ever heard friends in low places sing. And it's like, think about all the places Garth has performed and all the places he's been, and that's the loudest he's heard a crowd. I mean, how yeah. cool is that? Yeah, I mean, even if you watched his, uh, I watched on YouTube last night, he has a show on Sirius XM, and he said between Lincoln, Nebraska, and possibly a show a few years years ago in Denver, it was his favorite tour stop ever. I mean, you think about it. Garth's first number one hit, I think, came out in 1989. Yes. And that Lincoln, Nebraska, you know, especially for a guy that went to school at Oklahoma State, old rivals with Nebraska, <laughs> he's admitting how great Lincoln is. So, you know, a, a pretty special night. I'm really excited, actually, for the city of Lincoln. I'm just glad that you know, help build the economy back a little bit. Uh, I wasn't down in the Haymarket, but I had friends say it was a three hour wait for tables. Uh, people were down there starting at noon. And, you know, I think for the most part, very responsible crowd. So I, it was a success. The weather was perfect earlier oh, in the week. What was it, 98 with high humidity? So it was, uh, it, you couldn't have handpicked a better night for that to happen. So you'd put out that it was an 18 month project in the making and one of your most rewarding projects that was non-sports that you've worked on. But take us back to the beginning, how the first kind of talk started to happen about it. Absolutely. I got the promoter's name, um, Ben Farrell from Tom Lorenz, the general manager over at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Tom's been a great friend of uh, Nebraska athletics for quite some time. Had some initial conversations, but there were some tricky conversations based on uh, COVID and the pandemic. And so they were drawn out. There were some long conversations, dates switched a couple of times, the model on on you know the revenue and and you know concessions and things like that switched a couple of times but you know talking about a great crew to work with uh, garth's crew has been with them since garth has been ha has had a band so you know i think a lot of them been there since 1987 1989 um you know i talked to a lot of a lot of his staff every single day i was a little sad when the concert was over <laughs> because you know i won't be talking to those folks every single day and and build some lifelong friendships but Talking about an incredible crew, incredible people, um, easy to work with. Uh, it was a true partnership, and you can't say that for all concerts. You know, I, it's been a long time since I've been in the concert business, but I did spend four months at the Louisiana Superdome. Did some concerts back when the Kohl Center opened up in Madison, Wisconsin, and you know, a lot of times the settlement, um, some of the other things can can be contentious at the end. Um, Garth and his band and his crew, uh, true partners, every sense of the word. So was it something where it was, man, it'd be neat to have a concert in here, kind of how did the initial thought of, okay, and then let's bring Garth Brooks yeah. in? Well, you know, you're always looking for revenue opportunities mm -hmm. and, and we didn't know how the, the pandemic was gonna play out, but you know, I think part of, a, part of uh, what we realize here in Nebraska is that we're the University of Nebraska um, and we're in the middle of Lincoln, Nebraska, but we're part of a much larger community and, and it's our job um, to do things within this community that can help this community grow. And you're thinking about a unique opportunity. Yeah, we have a lot of out-of-towners, um, a lot of probably non-Nebraska fans that come in every year for football games, but you don't have very many unique events where you get people coming in from South Dakota, from Iowa. There was people, you know, I saw people from New Jersey here, from California, because they're Garth fans. And so to have the opportunity for the whole country to come to Lincoln, Nebraska, that a lot of them probably have never been here before, that's a pretty big deal. And I, I guarantee after they saw how special Lincoln was and how amazing that concert was, they're gonna come back. So I, I think the fact that we realized that A, it was gonna be an additional reven revenue stream, B, it was gonna be an incredible evening for the city of Lincoln, and, and, and C, a lot of repeat business because once people come to Lincoln, they're definitely coming back another time, made that a special evening. Yeah, after how hard, you know, the last couple of years have been and no fans in the stadium and, and the student athletes, coaches that all talked about, you know, this place getting packed again. Um, is that it's so exciting to kind of see, to be able to see Memorial Stadium rocking again like that? 
Yeah, I mean, just even the spring game this past year was only 40,000 people and seeing the streets full after having a year without fans and, and having some energy in, in Memorial Stadium, what I had chills. And that, then you up that to almost 90,000 people for a Garth Brooks show and, and a loud crowd the entire time. Yeah, that, that, it was just, it's something I've heard from so many people that is that is the best concert they've ever been to and it's something they're going to remember for the rest of their lives. The stage setup was so cool that it was in the middle of the field and he was running all around the whole time. So it's like nobody had a bad seat. A lot of times in concerts, it's like they push the stage back, you know, so then maybe you're way far away. But it was so masterfully, you know, set up by them and their, you know, their, their stage crew that the way that they set it up and then the way that it all came together, it seemed like everybody had a great seat as well. Well, I mean, there's a reason why he wins entertainer of the year almost every <laughs> single year. I mean, he gets his workout in and he, Trisha coming out is just always a special experience. I, she may have got a louder cheer when she came out than, than <laughs> yeah. Garth did. And yeah, I mean, there's a reason why he's been, he's going to be one of the best entertainers of our lifetime and maybe ever. So he, he knows how to put on a show. Well, I know you and your team and a, a lot of people around here worked tirelessly on putting that together and it was so cool to get to experience it i know a lot of people were so appreciative so thank you for that uh, for working so hard on that and bringing that to lincoln I want to transition and talk a little bit about nil because yeah. you've been big involved in that from the start we talked to you before you know everything happened on july 1st we talked to you on july 1st but now that it's kind of been a little bit of time uh, overall how what's your perception on how it's kind of all unfolded since july 1st well you know, real quick before we transition nil I would be remiss. As you said about the Garth Brooks show, there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that made this day possible. And, and the partnership with campus and the partnership with, with the community, as well as people in the athletic department, was incredible. I had the easy job. Um, the hard job went to Matt Davidson and his crew. I went to Holly Adam and her ticket crew and then Eric Haynes. And I'm probably forgetting people, but talking about people that, that worked almost 20 hours a day the week of the show and even prior to that pretty incredible so i didn't want to miss yeah, out sorry I should, kudos. I should have given you that opportunity because yeah so there they, was they so were, many they people. were the real mvps them and their staffs as no well doubt. as, as uh, the, the help locally and in the community so transitioning <laughs> to nil not to take your job but no uh, yeah nil has been interesting you know it, it changes every day it changes every hour you're seeing new deals come come across but you know we're still very confident in our plan because yeah, you're seeing uh, our student athletes like Lexi's son really take advantage of it, Adrian Martinez, and, and that's just to name a few. Um, but we're also really, really proud of what we're doing to prepare our student athletes and the other ventures, not just the endorsement part, you know, from the financial literacy, you know, Keith Zimmer and Tom Lemke and, Lemke and Life Skills are really doing an incredible job educating the student athletes on financial literacy, how to enhance their brand. And then our partnership with campus, uh, Joe Petsick through the entrepreneurship program. Uh, we're gonna have our one credit pop-up classes starting in October, you know, how to sell yourself, uh, the financial literacy piece, investing in your strengths. So there's gonna be continued education going throughout. And then we've already always already had student athletes partner with the School of Business to use their NIL advisor program as well as some have worked with the law school to set up their own LLCs. So we want to make sure always at Nebraska, we're looking at it at the full 360, not just the quick, hey, sponsor this product, you're going to make a few thousand dollars. We want to make sure these young men and women are prepared for everything they're going to do because we know these skills are going to be with them for the rest of their lives. Visiting with Garrett Classy, you know, speaking with the open, go open Doors guys, they said that when the transition first happened, there were a lot of schools that were not prepared uh, and that Nebraska definitely was prepared. And, and there's going to be kinks and you got to figure it out. It's going to be an ongoing process as we work through this. But, you know, overall, has it been pretty smooth and how the athletes have been able to handle their deals? And, and because it is, you have to document it and, and there's still sure. kind of rules that you have to abide by. You know, I think anyone that says it's been smooth, no matter how prepared, prepared you are is probably not telling 100 percent the truth <laughs> because it's been interesting you know there's there's elements where our compliance department's been involved there's uh there's been uh, there's moments where lana in in branding and licensing has been involved because how are you using the nebraska marks mm -hmm. and you know are all the student athletes disclosing all this information and so i can't say it's been smooth we knew it was going to be a work in progress and and there was going to be a learning curve to it so we're adapting with our policies we're adjusting um, we're just going to continue to educate and we're just going to make sure we're ready to hit any curveballs that come our way. Were there any kind of big 
things uh, across the country that really stuck out to you or surprised you after after everything kind of unfolded? Yeah, nothing really surprising, but mm -hmm. I think it's pretty special to see some of these deals that, you know, you see at BYU where the walk-ons are, are, are getting sponsorships and, you know, Lexi's son getting her own jewelry, jewelry line through Borsheim's. And um, I don't know if there's anything shocking per se. Um, I think it's good to see. I mean, at the end of the day, these men and women are getting the opportunity to monetize off their name, image, and likeness. And every college student forever has had that opportunity. And student athletes have not had that opportunity. So at the end of the day, they're getting the same rights, the same freedom as the general student body. And I think that's pretty special. It was talked about a lot leading up to it that Lexi's son was going to be an athlete that could really capitalize on this. But how impressive has it been seeing how she's handled all of it? She's very conscientious about the things she's doing, the brands that she's working with, and just making sure the brand she's talking with represent her, represents her own personal brand. Well, she knows she's going to have a future in this a, long after her time at Nebraska is over. And um, you know, she has been, she's educated herself. We've helped educate her. She knows what her brand is and that's very important. I mean, much like we're not going to stick the Nebraska N, uh, on any type of advertisement or, or, or sponsor or things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, we have a brand and we have to protect that brand. And, you know, she, she, she's done an amazing job and she absolutely knows where her future is headed. She knows that she's going to have a long career playing volleyball. She knows that she's going to be able to monetize her name, image, and likeness. So this is really the springboard for her future. And you, you mentioned the pop-up shops about, you know, the branding, but, you know, moving forward, what what's next? Like you, you, I mean, I know you have to continue to stay evolving with this thing as it continues to evolve really across the country, but how do you kind of stay on top of it? Well, I think, I mean, the good thing about our business is there's always industry publication standards. Mm -hmm. We have relationships across the country um, and not just within athletics. I think it's important that you still talk to the Blake Lawrence's of the world at Open Doors. You talk to, you know, other agencies, the marketing agencies across the country. So you get, you can see what trends that are coming next. You know, the Olympics are over. You're going to see a lot of Olympic student athletes um, going to college that are going to get opportunities. How do you monitor that? So the good thing is that you know we're we have a very entrepreneurial mindset here at, in Nebraska athletics, and we're going to continue to try new things. And you know I, I can't release these now, but we do have a few other things up our sleeve that you're going to see. Um, you know, and regarding group licensing and, and and other things that we'll be announcing here shortly. It's awesome. Okay, so we had a we have questions in the chat and, and text lines a lot that have asked us, Greg and me, about what would be our ideal NIL deal. So we'll <laughs> ask you that. What would be your ideal NIL deal if you were, I guess, in college, if you were a college student right now? Well, I like to eat. So, I mean, <laughs> if I could have a runs a deal, you know, and some of our students, student athletes have had a runs a deal, man, I... I'd be all over that. So I, I like food. So I'd promote any restaurant that came my way. What about the burrito? Yeah, the pipeline burrito yeah. through Muchachos. Yeah, I mean, I, all those things are great. I Yeah, any food one that came my way, I probably wouldn't worry about my brand. <laughs> I would sit a, hit accept in every one of those deals. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, Gara, always uh, great to chat with you. Thanks for stopping in and spending some time with us. Thanks for having us. All right, we got to take a quick break here on Sports Nightly, but we're back with more coming up right after this. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Husker fans, looking for a seat in Memorial Stadium? Custom three-game mini plans are available now. For only $195, choose any combination of the six games available. Matchups available in the three-game plan include the home opener versus Fordham, Buffalo, Northwestern, Michigan, Purdue, and Iowa. Don't miss this opportunity to join the greatest bands in college sports and help fill Memorial Stadium. To build your mini plan, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 1-800-8-BIG-RED. So when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? 
Oh, good. My husband's home. Top price odds, one in 302 million. Does it really matter where beef comes from? Meet the facts. Fact. High V Choice Reserve beef comes from the Midwest, so you get only the highest quality beef raised on family farms here in the heartland. Where do the other guys get their beef? We're not sure either. Get the facts at meetthefacts.hyvee.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Here we go again. The celebrating, the accolades. Ever since we added Marco to our team, our technology can't lose. Day after day, success after success, Marco's made our business IT a force to be reckoned with. The only drawback of being technology all-stars is keeping champagne away from the electronics! <sighs> Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it, the confidence of flashing a beautiful smile, the relief that your family can keep living the life they love, the serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment, your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam. Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Buckle up, put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office, Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Great great piece with Garrett. He's such a fun guy to talk to, isn't he? Yeah, and just so cool to hear the backstory about the planning of it and how much went into it, but... It was really important for that that weekend to happen, to have the revenue come back to Lincoln and, and the city, and, and it just was good for fans to be able to, to get together. You know, walking around just seemed like everybody was just so excited, and I tell you, I was sitting up there because I haven't been to a game here yet, and um, my brother got to come up, and we were just sitting there, and like I just had chills thinking about, oh my goodness, this in three weeks is going to be a football game right. and this is going to be a crowd here and I'm going to get to experience it. So it just kind of, it gave me a little bit of, of energy, a little bit more energy and being uh, really excited about what's to come. So very good time for our Friday five. You want you lead us off. Okay. So let's start with uh, I'm not sure if, if you missed it, you should check out uh, coach Hoiberg's Twitter account. Um, he posted a tweet <laughs> of Keishay Tamananga, who um, stepped off the plane. He's a 20 hour plane ride and hits five in a row from the corner in his first uh, time stepping into that gym uh, since being over in, in Tokyo uh, competing in the Olympics. But so what's what's crazy about the the way that the rules are for the NCAA and basketball, you can have a certain amount of time that you can be with athletes on the court during the summer. Well, since Keishay was at the Olympics, he gets to get that time now. So uh, Coach Hoiberg is able to 
uh, work out with him now. He told this story last night at, at the event I was at, and just that he said he's the easiest guy to rebound for. Uh, it just comes right <laughs> through the net. I mean, just a pure shot. He's going to be able to knock down some shots. But they're just excited to get him here. You know, of course, great experience to get to play in the Olympics in the three-on-three -three deal. But uh, they're excited about the ability that he's going to be able to bring as a shooter. And, I mean, the, the video was impressive. He went viral. And then, you know, again, the workouts, he's been, he's been really impressive. He wasn't even really dressed to shoot. I mean, he's just like in his no, had, clothes. Like, I mean, sandals and a satchel right. on. And it wasn't just... like he went and got got the sneakers tightened up and went out there and did it. it how, was, that's I mean, cool. But just a lefty shooter. I mean, how pretty is that? It's nice. Left-handers have a certain charm about them. He's going to have a nice role because he can be a zone buster for this team. Well, how much more does he play? I don't know. because I, I And I don't know that Coach Hoiberg would know at this point in time. you got to see him out there battling the McGowans or battling – uh, the Wilchers or whoever, whoever he's going to be fighting for for playing time. We don't know that yet. But the thing, you hear this all the time about, you know, kids that are shooters and, and parents putting them in the gym about, look, when you, if you can shoot, coaches will find a spot for you and they'll find an opportunity for you if you can, you know, be a knockdown shooter like that. So if he can provide a spark off the bench or whatever it might be and come in and knock down a couple of big threes, that's a big momentum changer. So if you can have a shooter that you, and it just messes up defenses, what guys got to, they got to key in on you. They can't, you know, back off of you. So it's a big weapon to have when you got a knockdown shooter like that. No doubt. My, my first one up for on our Friday five, the NC probe was announced. Nebraska acknowledged it. In your eyes, how impressive was Trev Alberts the way he handled that day? Yeah, and I just think because of the media attention and how much it was blowing up, and, and you and I talked about this, I was got a sense real quickly about how invested the media is and how it, they're tweeting about it and talking about it, and, and kind of everything is kind of amplified a little bit more. So for him to get out in front of it and just say what he could say and – you know, there were uh, there's obviously questions that reporters have to ask that he's not going to be able to answer because it's an ongoing inv investigation. But for him to get out in front of it, this is what what we can say. Yeah, I mean, it, I thought it was is really impressive. Most ADs would put the press release out like he did, and that would be it. So he does that, and he went that extra step by putting his face on the camera. Right. So we're all such a visual medium where we need to see or hear it. Well, he by doing that the other day. He got a face to the to the issue, and I think that was so important. Again, just another positive comment for Nebraska's new AD. Um, number two for me, um, volleyball and the red and white scrimmage coming up tomorrow. We we mentioned the preseason poll came out number five, and uh, some familiar foes in that top ten, and going to get a chance to see. We've heard about the battles that have been taking place, and how competitive and and how talented this team is. We're going to get to see them battle it out tomorrow night in Devaney in the red and white scrimmage. Can't wait. Kind of see what this is sizing up to be. And we tried to, we had Coach Hildebrand on last hour. We tried to kind of get a feel for what was going on. And he didn't play many cards. He's like, oh, it's been really competitive and it's been fun to see yeah. the, the battle. He didn't play many cards about, well, so and so's maybe got a lead here or that. So maybe we'll see for ourselves tomorrow what it kind of looks like for They're this team. They're pulling the same thing on as a football team. No depth chart, not, not giving us the starters. But I just, I think it's probably been that tight of yeah. competition. And, and they'll probably learn a lot too tomorrow um seeing how they kind of perform in front of a crowd you know a big crowd for the first time but and and you notice the poster that came out which is how awesome was that i mean bravo to nick burkhardt but um you know the the tree with and going back to the theme and and coach cook talked about this last night at the at the same event that coach hoiberg was at about um how this team came up with the theme and embracing the roots and and just the the legacy as, as we heard coach hildebrand talk about and so the the poster built around that and it's really cool and the first uh, 400 uh, fans that get to the red and white scrimmage tomorrow are going to get one of those posters so if you're going to the red and white get scrimmage early. you want the poster get there and get one of those posters coach cook loved it he brought it last night and had it held up and he you know, posted about it on social media as one of his favorite posters in all of his time here. So it's impressive, and if you're going, you'll want to get one. He's very, he's very, very proud of that poster, there's no doubt. All right, my next one up, the, you talked about it with Garrett in the last seminar, the Garth Brooks concert. I mean, how could you go through a week and not have that be one of the biggest stories of, of the week? Beautiful night. The weather was amazing, which just made the whole night so special for so many people. And like you said, to see the place full again and alive and have a – just an atmosphere like that was just really chilling. I'm, I'm getting chills just thinking back to it last Saturday night. That was pretty cool. Who, 
Who do they bring in next? Because I think there is a next concert coming into that stadium. I should have asked. Andrew thinks it's Drake. I don't know that it's Drake, but <laughs> I could see. I, I think it's probably got to be a country artist again. My money might be on Kenny Chesney. Yeah, Kenny Chesney. Um, I don't. I'm. I don't know. I'm not up to date on who are the best selling artists right now, but. Um, I, I'm with you. I kind of like your idea of maybe having a festival and having a few, uh, maybe five or six people come through here and making it an all-day deal. Could be where it starts at 3 in the afternoon and goes to 11 at yeah, night. Yeah, that would be, be fun. That would be pretty cool. Okay, number one. Hey, this is our last show without a football season, and we are moving to game Yay. week next week. We'll be talking Illinois and Nebraska in the season opener. We'll be in Champaign. Next Friday, yeah, in a week. that's right. We'll be in so, Champaign. Um, it's here, game week, finally. Fantastic. It's great to have it here. You mentioned it, how long a camp it has felt to us. It's probably been that much more and then some for the players. Uh, but now they see the light at the end of the tunnel. Campus school starts on Monday, so they'll be going to a class, seeing more classmates, seeing more buzz. It's here. It's great. It's a good time to have that coming. I can't wait. Game week. Let's Get go. It. Get it going. Hey, our Sports Only Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family, bringing you more choices in brands, locations, and service. Experience the difference. Purchase with confidence. This is Woodhouse. One more segment to go on the week of Sports Only. We're back with our winners and losers of the week next. So when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Shop Woodhouse Chevy Buick in Missouri Valley, Iowa, and experience the Woodhouse difference, where our sales staff is here, ready to help you find your perfect new car, truck, or SUV. And with over 100 new vehicles on our lot with more arriving daily, we're sure to have something for you. From the Buick Encore to our heavy-duty trucks, we have the best selection available. Find new roads and shop all of our inventory and offers at woodhousechevy.com or visit us at our dealership for a test drive today. Making car buying easier. This is Woodhouse. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska is one of the best schools in America for student Fulbright scholars. 2021 marks the fourth time that the university has been named a top producing institution by the Fulbright program. Of the 30 Huskers who applied this past year, 10 were offered the prestigious Fulbright. An additional 16 Huskers were named semifinalists. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Stadium seats may have been replaced with recliners. Tailgates outside the stadium may have been swapped for the ones in the backyard. And thousands of screaming fans have been replaced by one screaming baby. The only thing that hasn't changed is us watching the game together. It's game time, baby. Show off your Husker team spirit during your next virtual watch party. Visit cox.com slash Huskers to take a selfie with Herbie. And don't forget to share. Watch together, cheer together, take a selfie together, even if you're not actually together. Cox, bringing us closer. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Final segment of Sports Highly for the week coming up here. And you have the perfect artist. 
to fill Memorial Stadium. Well, someone mentioned Taylor Swift. I do think she could potentially sell she this thing sell, out. She yeah. would sell a lot of tickets. Because people would come from all over. She's a I, crossover. Country, some country, some Well, pop. and you heard Garrett talking about how uh, Garth has fans from everywhere. So there were people flying in from all over the country that had never been to Lincoln to see Garth. I think people would do that with Taylor, too, to, to see Taylor in this type of venue. You know what I mean? So she, I think she could bring in some people from all around. And so, yeah, she would. that would be a good one. There are some Foo Fighter and Metallica suggestions in here, too. John Cook would say Pearl Jam. That's his big, big band. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they would fill it. Now, if you did a rock, if you did kind of your multiple rock artists, whether you had four or five different rock bands, maybe you, you get it up there. But... Don't you get the feeling that we'll see another concert in this stadium I think sooner it, I, than later? I do. I mean, it, it obviously is a process. You heard him talking about how long that it, it takes to get in the works. I should have also mentioned this, and someone brought it up in the chat, and I feel really bad, but there was this cool story about how, you know, a couple of Husker fans really wanted to see Garth. They had you know some issues with maybe, I think, a, a one of their a son and uh, Garrett, they reached out on Twitter, and Gary said, yeah, come on. And so let him come watch Garth in the suite with him. So I should have asked him about that, but that was a cool story as well that he tweeted about, um, that the fans had tweeted about. But, yeah, I think it's a process, So, but I think it will probably start getting in the works really soon. Right. It's just such a bone to the economy of the town. You yeah. filled up the restaurants. You filled up the hotels. It was like an eighth home football game. And after last year where there were no home crowds for football, the merchants and everybody in this town needed that, and, and that was a much, much needed help. All right, winners and losers for the week. What do you got? Well, I, I cannot start without making sure that uh, Crypto King in the chat said you were the winner of the week because you did the show yesterday but all by yourself. But you were yourself. with me and JB for a pretty <laughs> lengthy segment. <laughs> yeah, I did, but... So I'm just saying you're the winner of the week for crypto. So <laughs> Thank you, crypto. Um, but my winner is Carol Frost, who was named one of the Cornhusker State Games Athletes of the Year. She uh, what has now how many records that in the discus and all kinds of uh, holds national records in discus and shot put for the 65, 70, and 75-year-old age group. Oh, absolutely amazing. So she'll uh, be honored later on, but... Um, Athletes of the Year for the Cornhusker State Games, Carol Frost. I got a chance to Phenomenal. talk with her about a lot of that, and hopefully maybe we'll get to do a feature coming up. But just also monumental in women's sports around here and, and you know, starting the track program. And so... Uh, got a loser? Uh, Tim Tebow. I mean, I hate, the, I hate calling Aww. him a loser, but that, I just, you know, got cut from uh, his uh, NFL stint. I'll segue from your loser because mine's also about the NFL. These teams need to quit scrimmaging. During the week, they, they had two different cases this week where the Raiders went and scrimmaged with the Rams, major fights breaking out. You had a big brouhaha with Antonio Brown of the Bucks and the Titans. Just stop it. Just stop even scheduling those things. Guys can't behave themselves. They just get out of control in those things. Yeah. I mean, you, it's like every, every week. My winner, the Hastings Little League team at the World Series. They won their game yesterday over New Jersey. So they're 1-0. In uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. How about that? What a cool deal Let's for go. those guys. Maybe that, you know, we've talked a little bit about it. Uh, not necessarily a huge watcher of the Little League World Series, but I this will make me now. want to tune in. I'm going to watch the next time you they know? play. Yeah, for sure. Knowing that there's some local uh, local kids around here getting to do that, absolutely. Fantastic. Make more interest around it for me. i got to be connected to it. Now, right. I, now I have a now connection. Now you have a local connection yes. to that thing. Really cool. All right, you're going to be at volleyball tomorrow, right? I will be there. Cool. We'll be doing some uh, interviews and it's going to be fun. Um, Have a good time. That'll I, be fun. I cannot wait. My first experience of Devaney. Very cool. All right. Back here Monday. We've got press conference Monday. We'll have cuts from the head coach on Monday. Monday's with Matt. Start back up again. We've had people asking when that segment's going to get going. Uh, that will start Monday. Also, a, a visit with the chancellor on Monday night. Ronnie Green will be part of the program. So we've got a full show headed your way on Monday. That'll put a wrap on tonight's show. Thanks to Jessica, to Mike, to Andrew, and to all of you. Have a great weekend, your final weekend without college football. Have a great time. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Seasons change, but your land stays the same. You need the right solutions to keep you moving. That's why you rely on Acres Equipment. 
your premier John Deere dealership and proud partner of Nebraska Athletics. Whether you're harvesting, protecting your crops, feeding the herd, maintaining your lawn, improving your business, or letting off some steam, Acres has what you need to get the job done. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Sometimes being an office printer feels like I'm competing in an Olympic sport. Thankfully, I have Marco's managed print services on my team. Marco's game plan helps me make big plays while saving big bucks. And Marco's lightning fast tech support gets me back in the game fast. <sighs> I'm up. Find out what your printers could be saying with Marco's managed print services at marconet.com. <laughs> <laughs> 